guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be filming one of my favorite videos ever to film here on my channel. And that is another makeup haul. Today, we're going to be doing a Ulta haul. I placed this order not too long ago and it came pretty fast to me. Ulta's pretty good about getting my packages here really, really quick. And I love that. So this is just a mixture of high-end products and drugstore products. There's just been a lot of products that I've been wanting to try here lately. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. I know the Sephora B.I.B. sale is coming up, but I actually just placed an order and I didn't wait on the sale. I figured a lot of these things that I wanted were going to sell out. So I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul pretty soon when that comes in. I spent a lot of money I, and I kind of wish I would have waited for the sale. But like I said, I thought these products would sell out. So I just went ahead and ordered them. So that will be coming as well. You can't even see my brows. So like I said, when that comes, I will film that. But I think I don't have any other updates. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with this haul. The first product I have here to talk about is a palette that is from NARS. If you've been here on my channel, then you know that NARS is my favorite makeup brand in general. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need everything that comes out from NARS. NARS, for some reason, reminds me of New York. And if you've been here on my channel, then you know that I absolutely love New York. And if I could move there right now, I would in a heartbeat. So I feel like that's why I love it so much. But I really do enjoy the quality of their products. And the packaging is always gorgeous as well. So the palette that I picked up is called Skin Deep. And it's an eyeshadow palette. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then when you open it up, you have a mixture of eyeshadows. And the bigger pans, I really can't appreciate. I feel like they made those bigger because they felt like you would go through these faster. They're just really, really good, like, transition shades and shades to deepen up the crease. And then you have some pretty shimmers here at the bottom with a couple mattes. Just very, very gorgeous. And like I said, I really do love the quality of NARS shadows. I just absolutely love it. I can't wait to play with this. I feel like this is something that I'm going to be using a lot. And I'm here pretty soon. I'm going to be filming a travel makeup video because I'm going to New York here pretty soon. And I want to feel like what makeup I carry with me. So, I feel like this is the palette that I'm going to take with me. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that I'm going to take. Very excited to have this. I've seen Tati talk about this and she absolutely loved it. So, very, very excited. The next palette I picked up is a face palette, and it is from a brand that I haven't tried that much from. I've tried a couple of liquid lipsticks from them, only because I get them sent through BoxyCharm. But the face palette that I picked up is from Oprah Cosmetics, and this is called Francesca to Lot, I'm pretty sure. But this is what the packaging looks like. And when you open it up, you have two shimmery blushes and two bronzers. One of them is a little bit darker. Well, it looks a lot darker on camera, but I feel like when I'm going to start getting spray tans here, I'm getting ready for New York. So I feel like that'll work for me when I am darker. It's not as dark as it's showing on camera. It looks very intense, but the blushes are showing true to color and this bronzer is as well. I'm very excited to have this. This is the thing that really stuck out to me when it comes to Ofra. There for a while, I wasn't really seeing much that I wanted to try. I mean, their highlighters look gorgeous, but it wasn't something that I felt like I needed right then and there. But this really spoke to me. I'm very excited to try this. Again, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about this, so very, very excited. The next palette I picked up is an eyeshadow palette, but it does have like a blush and highlighter in it as well. This palette is from Adeline Morin here on YouTube and Tarte. And this is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks perfect for the summertime. I love the packaging on this. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It has her name for the little cover up and all the lemons on it, which I think is very cute. I'll probably keep it, honestly. So when I looked at this palette, I instantly thought this is the most intense, warm neutral palette that I have ever seen. You can tell by looking at this palette that they're going to be very, very vibrant. And I've seen some videos and tutorials on this and they are vibrant. They're just very, very intense. This is what the palette looks like. I don't know if it's going to show well on camera. Here's your blush and your highlight. And then you have your nine eyeshadows. And a lot of people was talking about how this yellow here is very, very pigmented, which is rare for yellows. You don't really find a lot of pigmented yellows. And all these orangey tones and just these warm colors in general, they are just intense. So I'm very, very excited to play with this. I wear a lot of colors like this. This blush looks gorgeous. This highlighter looks gorgeous. Like I said, a lot of people have really been loving this here lately. It retails for $39, and honestly, I don't think that's a bad price for what you are getting. So I'm very excited, and I'm very excited to support another YouTuber here. I love her channel. I watch her videos, so 
just very, very excited. I keep saying that, but I really am to play with this. If you guys want a tutorial on this, just please let me know. I don't know if I'll do it or not because, I mean, I've seen so many videos with this palette, but like I said, very, very pretty. The next palette I picked up is something that I wasn't going to pick up because I normally don't like things that have small pans on the inside because I feel like it's very harder to get your brush into it. And even if you, like, if you take a big, large brush and put it in, it's going to mix in with the other product bite just because the pans are made so tiny. But... I saw this on Tati's channel and she tried it and she absolutely loved it and it looked gorgeous on her. It was just very pretty pops on the cheek. And this is from Milani and it just says zero one. This is a shimmering face palette and this is what it looks like. Another reason she was talking about like, I don't know because this was like $17 and that's pretty up there for Milani. But when she tried it, I could tell why it was $17. The formula looks so nice on her. Like I said, it just really pops. You have, it's pretty much just all glowy blushes and blush toppers. And this is what it looks like. I opened it up for you guys. Very, very excited to play with this. Like I said, this is something that I wouldn't have picked up on my own because I don't like how, like, tiny the pans are. And I just feel like they'd mix in together. And you'd have to have, like, really tiny brushes, like, to go in. But, like I said, I saw it on her, and I'm very excited to play with it because it looks so nice. So, this is what I picked up from Milani. But I also picked up two more products from Milani. And these are both blushes. I've been on a blush kick. I've really been trying to build my blush collection up, and I've, I've been pretty good at it, I feel like, which is not a good thing. It's a good thing and a bad thing. But I picked up another one of their baked blushes in number two. This is called Rose Dior or something. I can't pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. I feel like this color is going to be pretty for the summertime, especially if I have a tan, which I'm going to be getting a tan here soon. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and it has some gold through it. Very excited to play with this. I really do love the formula of these blushes. I have like three or four of them, so very excited. And then I picked up one that has like the rose petals on the inside. It looks very pretty. I picked up the shade number five in Coral Cove. This is what it looks like on the outside. I have some powder like on the outside of it because these are very, very powdery. Not in a bad way though. They're just very smooth. Like if you drop this, this is a goner. It will break. But this is what it looks like on the inside. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's very similar to what I'm wearing now. Right now, I'm wearing a matte blush from Lorac in the shade Spectra, and that is in my project pan. If you haven't seen that video, that is my last video up. I'm trying to use it up. It's not because it's bad or anything, just because I've hit pan and I want to get a new one. But this is very, very similar to that, and I feel like this one is going to be even more intense than that one. So I'm very excited to play with this. Again, it looks absolutely gorgeous. The next thing I picked up is from a brand that I don't think I've tried anything from, but a lot of people have been raving about them here lately. And this is from Catrice, and this is called the 3D Glow Highlighter. I picked this up because a lot of people's been talking about it. I watched a lot of videos here on YouTube, and a lot of people have been raving about this. So I picked it up. This is what it looks like. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So, I don't know if this is going to work as a highlighter or as a blush chopper. I feel like it's going to be a pretty glowy blush. And maybe I can sheer it out like here on my cheekbones for a highlighter. I'm not sure, but it looks very, very gorgeous. These are considered to be highlighters because I saw like one that's more for deeper skin tones, like a goldy one. And then I saw a stark white shade. I almost came close to picking that one up because I knew that it would work for my skin tone now. But I went with this one because everybody was raving about it. And I feel like it's going to be a pretty blush, so... Very, very pretty and very excited to have this as well. The next product I picked up is from Wet n Wild. And this is one of their Mega Glow Highlighters in the shade. Does it tell me what shade? Bloom Time. Yeah, it's, it's literally right on the front. And this is what it looks like. I don't have it. Let me try to take the sticker off so you guys can see. When I picked up this highlighter, I was actually on the hunt for it because I'm pretty sure I've seen Kathleen Lights talk about this highlighter. And it looks really, really gorgeous. It's, it's like a peachy shade. So I'm very excited to have it. If you know anything about these Wet n Wild highlighters, they are very affordable. But they give you a very intense glow and they're very smooth to the touch. Like I said, you can't go wrong with that, especially if you're someone that you're not really into intense highlighters and you don't want to pay a, like a, a huge amount of money for a highlighter. I completely understand. I would definitely try these highlighters out because they are very, very nice. I've tried a lot of them, but this shade just looks absolutely gorgeous and it's a peachy shade. I'm very, very excited to play with it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell because my lights are kind of like making it look dull looking. 
But this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to play with this. Like I said, I don't think you're going to be able to tell how pretty it really is on camera, but this is something I would highly recommend. Again, it's called Bloom Time, and I couldn't find it in stores at like a Rite Aid or a Walmart or Ulta, so I ended up having to order this from Ulta. But if you can find this, I highly recommend picking it up. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and put my BoxyCharm in with this video only because my BoxyCharm is always late and it's kind of frustrating because everybody's videos all the time, like it goes up and then I feel like eh, everybody's already seen it. Do I really want to post a video on it? So I'm just going to go ahead and show what I got in BoxyCharm. I gave one of the products away to my mom because it was a like crappy, I'm pretty sure it was an eyeliner and it was very dry and just crappy. <laughs> Which is bad. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on the brand, but it was. So, the first thing that I got in my BoxyCharm, which everybody got in their BoxyCharm, was a pure palette. And this is called the Festival Palette. The packaging is really, really cute. And then when you open it up, you have a mixture of shimmer shades and matte shades. And you have two pressed glitters. And this looks really, really nice. I know a lot of people aren't too fond of the pure palettes when BoxyCharm collabs with them, but a lot of people were saying that this was really nice. The formula was really nice, so I'm very excited to play with this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. These pressed glitters are literally calling my name. I feel like they got this inspiration since Coachella is coming around the corner, or it may have already started. I don't know, but it looks very, very gorgeous. I'm excited to see what I can come up with. Like I said, these are calling my name. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, everybody got this palette in their BoxyCharm. And everybody got these Lexi brushes, a set of three, and they retailed for like $28. This palette was like $36, I'm pretty sure. But you have like a packer brush, or you can carve out your brows with this if you want. You have this little brush, and honestly, I don't really know what you would use for this. I would probably like if you contour your nose, maybe. And then you have like this little contour brush. Very, very cute. Um, I'm going to be honest, these, like this, kind of feels cheap. Like, the handles on these brushes feel cheap. Now, the quality, this feels soft. They feel pretty soft, but just, I don't know. I feel like these are cheap. I personally wouldn't have picked these up if it hadn't been for my BoxyCharm, but since I got them, I will use them. I always need new brushes, so I'm excited to have them, but like I said, they just feel a little cheap. And everybody did get these brushes in their BoxyCharm. It goes from pink, and it has like a greeny orange at the bottom. And then in the box, everybody got an Artist Couture Highlighter. It's a loose highlighter, and personally for me, I've never tried an Artist Couture Highlighter. I know a lot of people really rave about them. They're supposed to be very intense. The shade that I got was Purple Dream, and it looks gold. I don't think it has purple in it, I don't think, but this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty basic, and then looks like this at the bottom. Again, the shade's called Purple Dream. I wanted to try and swatch it so I could see if it was purple. Okay, I'm not even going to try to attempt to open it. I'm literally going to have to have tweezers because I'm over here pulling. I don't have any nails. I can't get it off. But I don't know if it has purple in it. In a way, it kind of looks like it, but in a way, it don't. It could just be a basic gold highlighter, but... Nonetheless, still excited to try because again, I've never tried anything from Artist Couture. I've never tried their highlighters. So it's pretty much what they are known for. And again, everybody did receive an Artist Couture highlighter in their box. The next product I got in my BoxyCharm was a holographic lip gloss, and this is from the brand called Appeal. I'm pretty sure in last month's box, I received a glitter shadow from this brand. It had the doe foot, so it's something similar to Stila. But uh, this month we got another product, but not everybody got this. This is what it looks like. Again, it's a holographic lip gloss. I don't know anything much about this brand at all. Like I said, I did receive that glitter shadow, and I have used it, and it works really nice. But um, this retails for $27. I don't think I would have bought this if it hadn't been for BoxyCharm. Especially for that price tag, I'm not really into it. But this was just my variation. Not everybody received this lip gloss. And again, it retails for 20 like $21. And then I received a crappy eyeliner. And I'm pretty sure I gave that away because it was so dry. And it would literally hurt my eyes if I attempted to apply it. So, I gave that away. But it wasn't too bad of a box. I felt like the star of the show in the box was the palette. 
But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. There was my haul and I threw in my BoxyCharm as well. I just want to say thank you guys for just watching my videos and clicking on them and leaving a comment and liking it. Honestly, means the world to me. I love it. I love talking to you guys. I mean, I, I like I'm a smaller channel and I just sit with my husband sometimes and I'm like, some, I'm like somebody's watching my video. And I'm like, I, like, I get so emotional about it too. It's just like I'm crying. Like, I feel like it's just so crazy. And like when people tell me to keep up the good work, it just means the world to me. So again, I just wanted to thank you guys. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you are notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.